Yo, what's popping guys and welcome back to yet another how to make a Final Fantasy 2 game tutorial from scratch. <laughs> so, last time, if you remember what we did, we set up the night screen, you know, so that when you play the game, it gets all fancy, we hit play, now you know, it'll say which night we're on, you know, all that fun stuff. And we'll play it away, and I'll come back. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to be adding in our office. Now... How we go about making an office, it's not too, too bad. It's just a little bit of fidgeting. So I'm going to make a new sprite and I'm going to call it office. Now, this office sprite, I'm going to make it a specific size. It's going to be 779 by 369. Or not 369, excuse me, 389. So keep that in mind. So how we're going to do that is I'm just going to grab... I'm going to start by grabbing an empty black square we're just going to drag it out just like this okay you can see how big it is by looking right here so we want this first one to be 7.99 and or 7.79 and this next one to be 3.89 so if we test by doing this you see that the first number moves if you test doing this you know we have to get to 3.89 so we'll move it down until that number up there equals 3.89 3.90 3 okay this is how this is how uh height height this is how tall there we go it's how tall we need it now if we hold um so now we have to extend it the the width oh my goodness i am getting this all wrong so we're just going to extend until we get 779 we can extend both ways Woo. okay keep extending 699 724 Okay, we need to go just a tad further. 727. Just keep going until we get that 779, 780. 778. 779, there we go. Okay, now that we have this square, we're going to center it. And now here we go. I'm just going to leave this one and I'm going to duplicate it right off the bat. This size is where we're going to put our office. Put the office everywhere in this area. Don't go outside of the square. Well, you can. Uh, you don't have to worry about people not seeing it because there are people seeing it because this will not. This bottom and top will not be visible. So if you want to do some Easter egg stuff and like put some secret up here, uh, I mean, you could definitely go ahead and do that because they won't be able to see it unless they check the code. So something fun to do there. Now, now we're going to get into designing the office. So, generally what we're going to be doing is, since I'm making a FNAF 2 style game, we're going to be having mainly, we're going to have the big hall here, and the two vents at the side, okay? However you want to go about drawing these, you do it any way you want, just keep in mind, if you're following this tutorial exactly, you're going to want this front opening and these two little vents. Uh, if you're just gonna, if you're just here for simple mechanics that you want to add, uh, then don't worry about this. But if you want to follow this game exactly, keep in mind we're going to want this big open area in the middle and these two vents on the side. I'm going to design it, and then I'll be right back. All right, here we go. I made myself a quick little office that took, admittedly, a longer time than I would have liked to admit, but I got a little bit of an office set up. So for these windows and doors, you're going to want to have something like this, or just pitch black, something like that, because we're going to add overlays for doors and lights. When the lights are on, there's going to be a different overlay that's going to cover this. So you're going to have an empty something here. This is just what it's going to look like casually when no lights or doors are on. Okay. So, am I recording? Yes, I am. All right. That's good. So, what we want to do is we want to make another sprite. Just grab any little circle, just come straight on down here and just tap a little dot right in the middle, a little tiny dot, just like that. You're going to call this sprite Sizer, and we'll call our other one Office, and we'll call this Outline Template. Something pretty basic, pretty simple like that. So you have Template, Office, Sizer. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a When I Receive our custom green flag we're going to hide the office the office does not need to be shown so on night screen we have this we have this looking for us right so we have to at some point set up you know the, a screen that will show it so that doesn't make sense so before fade we're going to make a broadcast called night start right there we're going to pop it right there now in the office, 
when we receive night start okay when we receive night start we're going to set the costume to sizer we're going to show we're going to set the size to let's say 130 we'll just test it and then we're going to say go to 0 y negative 50 and again these numbers can be fumbled with a little bit if you'd like okay so what we need is we need a forever loop and now this is where we're going to have the office movement okay what we're going to do is we're going to grab a go to go to just like this we're going to come to operators Going to put we're gonna grab a divided symbol and set it in the first one and put one in the first slot. And then come to sensing and grab mouse X and put that in the slot. And then we're gonna keep Y at the negative 50 that we set it to go to. Just like that. Then we're going to make a variable. And we're going to call it office oh, office X. We make a variable called office X. And we are going to set office X to the X position of the office. Just like that. So now maybe if you take a look, we'll see what it kind of looks like. Just a little bit. Night one. Okay. Oh, look. Look. See our sizer? Our sizer's down there. Do you see the sizer? Look at the little dot. So there you go. It's moving around. He's moving around. He is. So we just need to actually set the costume, which I forgot to do. So after we set the, change the size, then we'll set the, set the costume to office, and we're going to see when exactly it shows up okay it shows up really quick it shows up really quick so then what we need to do is night start when night start is broadcasted here we're going to have to wait maybe 0 0.6 seconds for that fade to kick in you know let's check that oh okay hold up <laughs> 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 also, wait, this one needs to be a negative one. I'm sorry. Set that to a negative one. Set it moves opposite. Anyways, let's have this say go to the back layer when this starts. Or here, no. Have it go to the back layer once it shows. So go to back layer, show. And then after it switches to office, have it go to the front layer. Maybe that'll fix something up a little bit. Maybe that'll make it look a little bit nicer. Oh my goodness, that just shows up really fast. But look, here's our little office movements. See that? Okay. So what we should do then, what we should be doing is setting night start underneath there. That should solve the issue. Then we can get rid of these weights and the back layer. Keep the front layer though, that's probably fine. That's probably fine. Well, actually no, we don't want to keep it in the front layer because it'll give us problems with buttons and stuff later. Okay, we need to wait a little bit of time. We need to wait a little bit of time. I'm wondering why it's broadcasting night start so quick. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. But, whatever. We can fix this just by going 0.6. Should fix it. Let's take a quick little look, see. I need to know why you are going to the back. Or why you are going to the front of everything. Well, if we just set night screen to go to front. See, th this is what you need to watch out for, you see. You have these issues seem pretty they're pretty solvable and they are right they are but this is just showing you how even people who seem to be really good at doing this stuff they, they, it gets spaghetti sometimes sometimes it gets a little bit a little bit uh, a little bit odd as you're trying to figure out what's going on everybody gets it and there we go all right there we go and now here's our office looks nice Got the big window here Got vent down there, vent down there. Now you might be realizing that I can't see the table that I made. That's because we zoomed in so much, right? It's because we zoomed in so much. So let's say we set the size to, see here, set the size right here, 120. That shows up, but now we can see all this stuff, right? So I actually like to keep it at 130. Actually, we need to have the sizer. That's why I did that. So try 120. Fumble around with your numbers a little bit. Get some different results. And look at that. But now you see our map isn't long enough. Okay? So I'm going to keep it at 130. I'm going to keep it at 130. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little bit of a table that I have set up here. And I'm just going to move it up so we can see it. It's just so it's just that nice little bit of, you know, being able to, just that nice little bit of um, 
design. The little thing looks a little bit better. Having that little table right there with us. Awesome. Fantastic. So here's our office. Now we can move around like this and everything looks all good and well. So here's how you set up your office. We have it set up here just like this. It's all very nice. So we're going to leave the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it and like it, if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because we're going to be making a pretty cool game. While you're at it, why not subscribe to the con while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? If you enjoy my content, that would help me out a lot. We're almost 4,000. It's actually crazy. But yes, while you're down there, you might as well check out my socials. Link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>